The doctor is up to no good again. As you can see, we have a little issue on our hands here, starting another little project. Uh, basically, it's a 1920 house that we started opening up walls and ceilings. Sometimes a good idea, sometimes not, but then you have to deal with it. So we've got a plan to finish this all off and we'll talk about that. Now we have to figure out a plan. So the basic plan is to do riff cut plywood. This is this nice uh, underlay type plywood. It's only about 3 16 thick. You can just nail it on up there and we'll just paint that white, ceiling white, and uh, just do like a one by two or a one by four over the seam. So give it a kind of a Victorian look. So should be fun trying to finish this off. And so on this riff ply here on the one side, that they actually uh, call as the back. I'm actually going to call that the front. And uh, that's the side that we're putting our whitewash plywood on. Uh, just a whitewash finish or ceiling white. Um, you can also do this natural. I did a little closet with this stuff inside and I actually like the look of it in the sense that it's more of a, mm, has a bit of a character to it, so. Fun. Hey, it's Dr. Alex and we're up to no good and I finished some surgery so, you know, took my mask off. What's happening is the old ceiling was just, was just so uneven and so rough. I came up with this concept just to go over it with a thin plywood that you use for tile underlay. And it's called Rift Ply. And uh, just four by eight sheets, pre-painted them white, nailed them on the ceiling. And uh, for this project here, I'm building uh, some faux beams. They'll just be plywood box beams. And there, above, are the blocks. In this case here, the substrate is solid wood on this old house. So um, I can just basically nail these wherever I want. Doing some dressing up of this ceiling. It's a plywood ceiling. And uh, I've added these box beams here. So we basically nailed some plywood together, stained it, varnished it, and I put some blocking on the ceiling and nailed that up. So now what happens is I'm going to fill in all the gaps. And here it is, the doctor's been up to no good on this edition of My Old House. We put plywood on the ceiling, built wooden box beams, and then I basically just did a one by three common, you know, from your lumber store, Home Depot, whatever, over all the seams. So, so what this has done is created a, a really nice sort of coffered ceiling look. A few tips and tricks you can add on to your old house. Hope you enjoyed this video.